Hi there, girls. I'm back for another reading tonight. Getting ready to close out. I did a few personal. Got my energy up. Now I'm not ready to go to bed just yet. So I'm going to give you one more reading. Hope it resonates. Take what you need and leave the rest. I'm going to leave you with a statue off rather with a spirit on it. It may be a little dark, but I hope you all can see. We have the dragonfly as being magic. Dragonfly. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. That's the dragonfly. Somebody has a, I'm hearing somebody has a dragonfly tattoo. Somebody has a, a koi pun. What do you call those fish? Koi, koi pun. A koi pun in their backyard or something. So you're giving messages for the Virgos, please, tonight. And we have the Page of Wands energy here. And we have the Page of Pentacles. A lot of, of, of kind of like immature energy in your thoughts and what you're going to do, what direction you're going to head in. Got the Six of Swords, though. So you're, you're eventually going to get up enough nerve to leave one thing behind and go after another in the pursuit of your happiness or someone. Or it's like you're finally taking this leap of faith or making plans to go somewhere and be happy. Or just to, you know, to be happy with somebody else. Or this could also be, mean somebody else is finally coming after you. Finally. And because you are what makes this person happy. You are what makes this person tick. There's some sort of transformation. Got the page of cups. They were immature in their feelings. They weren't sure exactly what they wanted. But this could be you also. All right, Virgo. It's like you're packing up your stuff and you're ready to go. You got the tower card. And you're going to shock some people when you do this. Because you're going to get your prize. Okay. It's like the six of wands. But we have the hermit. So whatever it is that. that I'm sorry. The, the tower. So whatever it is that, that you've done. The decision that you made is going to shock a bunch of people. It's going to like wow. This person is actually leaving. Or they're finally going to do something. That they've always said that they were going to do. Or Virgo. This is something that you need to do. For your own benefit. Not for anybody else. It's time for you to transform. Courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is within you. You are brilliant and you are blessed. Five of cups. But you sitting there crying up spilled milk. You sitting over here tripping up Stan. Stan ain't worried about you. Don't worry about him. Crying over what happened with this person in the past and all of this and that stuff. When you got a beautiful connection headed your way but you're crying over the shoulda, coulda, woulda. Okay, and we got the five of wands. You argue with this person back and forth. Y'all didn't get along. It's over with now because you probably, they, this person probably cheated on you. Or didn't treat you the way you deserve to be treated. You know, they party too much in the street. You know, they weren't ready to give you what you, get, what you wanted. You could have had the ten of cups. You could have had everything in this relationship. But you settled for a V8. Alright. This person settled for a VA. Whatever the situation is, it's time to let that energy go. To transform yourself. So you can be treated equally. So you can be treated with the utter respect that you desire and need in your life. The Eight of Cups. So you want to leave. You want to do something different with your life. But what are you holding on to? So much in the, in the past <clears throat> that you're refusing to see something good coming your way. A new opportunity of love coming your way. Just new opportunities, period. It's like you finally standing up and saying, well, I'm going to do something different for me. I'm not going to cry over spilled milk anymore. I'm going to let the past stay in the past. It's just not in it for me anymore. I'm going to live my life for me. Just still hung up. Something is holding you back, though. Love. It's like, either you want this person to come back from the past, or, or you're not ready to let go of this feeling, or you're afraid <clears throat> that you have conquered this person, this energy of this person, and said, it's over with, I've conquered this, now it's time for me to move on with my life, and let the past stay in the past. The core part, I courageously let go of the past, but you're still holding on to that pain. 
you're still hung up in your head thinking that, that, that there's going to be some other opportunity here with you and this person. It's over with. Let it go. Mm -mm. Um, I'm hearing that phrase from... I'm hearing that phrase from Sister Act 2. If you want to go somewhere, if you want to be somebody, you better wake up and pay attention. If you want to go somewhere, if you want to be somebody, you better wake up and pay attention. Page of Wands. Wow. See, you got to take this leap of faith. you got to wake up and pay attention. It's, it's out there for you. A new start. It's out there for you. No matter how many times you have failed, you can still pick your ass up and get back up and start all over again. This energy with you having a page of wands and saying, well, I'm, you know what? I know that I need to go out here. I know that I got to make this happen, but I'm afraid that if I get out there, I'm going to fall on my face. I'm not going to be able to get up again. I'm not going to be able to stand on my own again. But yes, you can. But you got to balance out the good and the bad, the happy and the sad. What dropped you down the first time and kept you down. It's time to pick yourself back up and move on. But we got the stuff that's holding you back is your fear. Fear of intimacy, the fear of, lose, of losing out on what it is that you've gained so far. Well, what if I move to a different state? I don't have any family there. I'm going to take this leap of faith and move to a different state. I don't know anybody, but what if I fail? What if I lose my job? What if I lose my home? Whatever. You got to do it. You got to do something that's stepping outside of your comfort zone because you're blessed. No matter what, you are blessed. I have to leave some people behind here. We got, yeah, you do. It's like you got people right now in your life who you who you can't stand and who who can't stand you. You got to stand up for yourself. You got to dismiss these people and say enough is enough. Bye, bitch. I'm done. You know, say what you need to say to me, family, friend, foe, whatever. Say goodbye to this hoe, whoever this person is. You pack your shit and you go. And don't think nothing of it because you got opportunities that you don't even see headed your way. All because you took that leap of faith and you left. And then we got the sun card. It's going to make you so happy. But it's going to be a positive outlook for you. A positive aspect for you to move on with your life. But you hold, you, you holding on to a bunch of shit. A bunch of negativity. You hold on to a bunch of backbiting people who, who, wants, to, to, who wants to see you down because they like to see you down. But you are the magician. You can do anything you set your mind to. And that's what people don't like about you. Because they didn't see you fail so many times before. But they also seen you pick yourself back up. And start all over again. And they don't like that about you. They don't like that you are strong. You're more stronger than you think you are. It's time for you to transform. Embrace your transformation. Courageously let go of the past. The magic. The magic of nature is inside of you. It's already inside of you. What are you going to do? Three of Pentacles. Work your butt off to get yourself back out there. To put yourself back on the map where you were. Got to. Got to put yourself back out there. Here we go. Got to put yourself back out there. If you want to be somebody, if you want to go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. The Knight of Pentacles, the King of Wands, got the Tower Card. It's time for you to say, look, I'm going to put in my time right here. You're going to pay your dues, and when you pay your dues, you get your crown and say, well, I'm, t I'm, I'm, I'm headed into my next destination, and it's going to shock a whole bunch of people. When you make that decision, Virgo, it's going to shock a whole lot of people because people didn't think that you were going to actually do this. And you're going to leave them feeling like, wow, now I'm thinking about I should have did this to her. I should have did that to him. I should have treated this person better. But that person then went on with their life. Virgo has went on with their life and picked up with the good things that are headed for Virgo because you left the unnecessariousness behind. And you, you, finally, grind, you finally gained perspective and you finally gained everything it was that you were destined to gain but you have to let go you have to let go of your comfort zone in order to collect your prize it's there what are you gonna do